Hey guys, this is Nick. I'm gonna be showing you today how I have five robots working for me on my Mac to help edit and process photos. I know, it sounds like magic, but it's actually really easy to do. Let's see how it's done. For those of you who don't know, I'm a professional photographer, videographer, cinematographer, and yes, drone pilot. And part of that work is in involving editing. And I am the kind of photographer who really enjoys to be out in the field and taking pictures and enjoying and composing and just a gathering. I like to gather. I don't like to sit in a dark room and edit stuff. But unfortunately, that's a part of every photographer's life. You gotta edit stuff to get those beautiful, crispy shots. It can't all be perfect. And no amount of machine learning or uh, enhancement, auto enhancement, is gonna make the picture look as perfect as possible. So by no means are these five automations um, in a replacement for sitting down and editing pictures. It's really to get through the bulk of the work up to editing it and then also exporting it. So there are some uh, different automators that I've found and I'm gonna show you my five favorites ones now. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is purchase and download Pixelmator Pro from the App Store. It's I believe a $20 purchase, highly worth it in my opinion. If you're looking for a really good photo editing competitor that competes with Lightroom and Photoshop on a very professional level, Pixelmator is not gonna disappoint. You can do almost anything and even some more things that I've found that uh, Photoshop can't even do. So this is a great app. I also use uh, Pixelmator Classic, which is the original Pixelmator before they did Pixelmator Pro. Um, I believe that's another $20, but it's still available on the App Store, but it does have one specific feature that Pixelmator Pro does not have, and we'll get to that in a minute. So first thing you need to do is obviously download both of those programs. Now, we are going to open up the Automator, and this little guy is basically a robot that can run on your Mac and do anything that you want if you tell it what to do and it, and it can do that. I guess it can't do anything, but you know, we're gonna, we're gonna get there. So we're gonna go up to File and then New, and then we're going to create a new quick action. This quick action is basically gonna be available via right mouse click from the Finder, which is really gonna be fast for us. We don't have to open any extra applications or anything. So as I said, the first, uh, the first thing that we're gonna do here is auto enhance images. I have five of these little tools that I use. The auto enhance image is just a handy one to just quickly enhance a bunch of images without really having to think about it. It removes those weird picture profiles or flat, uh, flat raw files that you have and just boosts the colors and makes it, makes it something that's nice to look at when you're going through hundreds of pictures deciding which ones to edit further. So the first step here is gonna be hopping up here and changing this automatic text to image files because we're gonna be importing image files and we can say any application, it should work, but I like to keep it with Finder. I do most of my photo management in Finder anyway on different SD cards and hard drives and stuff. So I would like to keep that just there. You can also change the icon and the color of the icon if you'd like. I like to leave it about black. It's nothing super fancy. Then all we need to do here is uh, search up here, uh, auto enhance, and uh, we're just gonna grab the auto enhance function from Pixelmator Pro. This is like a little bit of code that typically resides inside of the Pixelmator Pro application, but it's been taken out and you can use it in the automators function. And so basically the automator can just do this one little action. Um, and so when we drag this into our work project here, we see that it says, hey, you're gonna overwrite some data basically. Do you wanna copy that somewhere else? And I always do this. So um, all of my little workflows here do first copy the pictures to a separate area because I like to always have the raw regular pictures that I can go back and edit to if I ever find that uh, sometimes this auto enhance function or sometimes these other functions kind of wreck the image a little bit and don't make it quite as good as you want it. Um, so it's always good to have just be working off a copy copy basically. Um, so I'm going to say I want you to uh, copy the items and send them to an other spot and it, however you have your, uh, your photo stuff set up. I have a whole automations folder here and so I am going to stick this in the auto enhance. I'm going to tell it to stick all of the pictures inside of this new auto enhance folder here. And so we're just going to click choose and that's where it's going to be sticking them. Um, and then basically it's done. All we need to do is click save. It's fairly easy. It's not, not as complicated as you'd think. And then we're just going to click save. And guess what? It's now done. So let's test this automator out and see how it works and make sure it actually does work. Uh, well, let's test it out on these first few pictures here from my shoot. Um, this is, you know, this is a raw file here. Uh, nothing particularly fancy. This is a flat JPEG. Uh, this is another raw, another flat JPEG. Nothing super exciting about these pictures. Um, they don't look terrible, but you know, they're pretty dark and they could use some quick enhancement. So this is a great tool to have. So we're just going to select these first four pictures click Quick Actions, and then click Auto Enhance, which is the one we just created. And we're gonna see this little gear in the upper corner uh, start spinning. 
And if we, uh, oh, it, it was pretty fast. On these M1 chips, it's actually fairly fast. Um, so now if we scroll down to the section that we just saved that to, so we have these new copies in the Auto Enhance folder. Um, look at that, way better, way brighter, way more perky. Uh, the whites are actually white. Um, it removed that flat picture profile. These are much, these are much better pictures. You know, if, if this was how I wanted to send the picture, if I didn't want to do any further edits, I would feel comfortable sending this picture to a client because you know, it's bright and it looks nice. Um, but before we can send stuff to clients, what do we have to do? Us good photographers, we have to watermark everything. So instead of having to open each one of those pictures, put them in a photo editing application and insert your watermark and then export them, we can actually just have Automator and Pixelmator Classic take care of all of that for us. So we're gonna hop back to the Automator here. We're actually gonna open a new automation. We're gonna do quick action, choose, and then we're gonna set that uh, image file just like we did before from Finder. And then we're gonna go here and say watermark. And we have to have Pixelmator Classic installed. Unfortunately, Pixelmator Pro does not have the watermark image uh, quick action here. Unfortunately, I don't understand why, but, uh, but Pixelmator Classic does. So we're just gonna go ahead and drag that in here. It's gonna have that same pop-up saying, hey, watch out, you're about to overrate data. Are you sure you wanna do that? We're gonna say we're gonna add that uh, copy and we're gonna send that uh, copy to the specific folder that I have set up for our automations and then watermarks and the new watermark pictures go into this folder here. Now, important, we have to set the position here. So we can have the watermark in the center, in the upper left corner, and I kind of like it in the lower right corner. Um, and then the last thing we're gonna do is we're gonna choose our watermark image. And this watermark image is one that I use. I just have this as a PNG file here. It's a 60% transparent gray scale uh, image. And so it's, 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 I believe it's five, Let's see, how big is this? I don't know. Um, it is it is 1500 by 400, so it's a fairly good quality one. Um, and most of my pictures are fairly large scale um, as far as the dimensions, so it's good to have a high quality watermark to overlay. So we're just gonna quickly drag this watermark over our uh, little drop here, and now we can see very faintly, we do have the watermark right there. Um, so now we should be able to save this and just save this watermark one. And uh, I like to number them because I'm gonna probably do more than one. So watermark one is now saved. So if I wanted to test this watermarking feature out here and on these images that we just created, um, kind of uh, brighten those up. If I just wanna take the two JPEG images and run this new watermark one feature, uh, most of them should be listed down here sometimes, but you can always get to them via this quick actions. So we're gonna run watermark one on these. You'll also see the little gear pop up here for a split second as it processes stuff. And now we see we have two watermarked images down here. They have my nice little Nicky and Sweeney down at the bottom, very professional, very clean, not too intrusive. So this is something that I'd send to like a client, say here are some proofs, you know, which one do you like better? Um, this is, this is kind of how I do that real quickly. Now, sometimes you have a little bit of noise in your picture and it's kind of annoying when you're right working through a bunch of darker images and you notice that you have quite a bit of noise in them and you want to kind of lighten it up just a little bit. So there's thankfully another quick action for that. Let's hop back to the automator, do a new quick action. And we are going to just search for denoise and denoise is a feature that comes with Pixelmator Pro. Uh, again, it's gonna pop up with that little question and we just say add. We're gonna change the uh, selection here to uh, image files from Finder. And then we're going to say, please save these images as a copy to um, the file that I want to send these to, which is our denoise file, new denoise pictures. Choose that. And then we're gonna save this as denoise. Okay, so now if we want to hop over to those watermarked images that I just had, if we want to denoise these guys, we just right mouse click, quick actions, denoise. And we get that little gear up there for a split second and it's gonna pop these guys into our new denoise section. Okay, the denoise function has finished. We can now see that these were pretty bright images to begin with, but they do have a little bit less noise in them and kind of more smooth, uh, smooth bumps and it's not, not quite so noisy. So that's, a, that's how you run quickly denoise uh, just with a right mouse click, fairly simple once it's set up. Now the last individual piece that I wanted to show you guys, which it's kind of handy to have these broken out, is actually the zoom and enhance function in Pixelmator Pro. So we're gonna go to Automator, quickly set up a new quick action 
And this one we're gonna also set to image files from Finder. And then we're just gonna search here, increase resolution of images. This is from Pixelmator Pro. It actually uses machine learning to super resolution size the image by at least three times. So basically you can import a 6,000 by 4,000 image and then it will export an 18,000 by 12,000 image. So it just increases the uh, quality of the pictures, um, which I think is always a really nice touch. And again, it's gonna say, hey, you're about to override some data. Do you want to save the copy? I always say yes. We're gonna stick this in a new folder here called, uh, stick this in our folder, which is our automations, ML zoom and enhance. And we're gonna choose that there. You can, again, you can save the files however you'd like. Uh, now we're going to save this as uh, ML Zoom and Enhance. And once that's saved, we can actually head over to our images here. Um, we have this nice watermarked image. And if we want to run this, uh, we just hit the quick actions and then Zoom and Enhance down here at the bottom. And we'll see this little guy think. Now, the Zoom and Enhance function um, takes a long time on non-M1 devices. Uh, on Intel Max, it takes between 15 and 30 minutes to run just one image through Zoom and Enhance. Thankfully, with the M1 chip and its new neural cores, it does scream at about 30 seconds or so. But keep in mind, anytime you run this zoom and enhance function, you're gonna be creating about a 700 megabyte file um, that is then gonna be downscaled into a 50 or so megabyte file JPEG. Um, so there's a lot of processing power that's gonna happen right now, and it is just now finished. That's just how fast the M1 chip is. And here we do have our new zoom and enhance. Now we basically upscaled a three megabyte file into a 16 megabyte file. So let's take a look at what this looks like. So basically, if we zoom all the way in here, we'll notice that this is just a lot sharper uh, than it would have been um, over here. So if we see we zoom in on the original one, it's a lot more fuzzy and blocky. And so basically we just upscaled it by three times and it's just kind of a nice uh, a nice way to get a little bit more quality out of your images. So I really do love the zoom and enhance function that uh, Pixelmator Pro includes. But what would be better than running three separate automations? Only running one automation, you have that right. So now we're gonna create an automation that is actually gonna be worthy of its title. We're gonna just do another quick action here. I'm gonna call this the big red button. And uh, it's gonna also import an image file from Finder. And we're actually gonna have multiple actions here that are gonna kind of be strung on top of each other, allowing me to click one button and have it run through a variety of different things. So we're gonna start off with the auto enhance. Uh, images here and it's gonna say hey by the way you're about to uh, duplicate stuff is this all right or say yes and then we're going to create a new folder here uh, save this stuff to our automations and then our big red button and the new big red button so all the images that this automator is going to work on are now going to be copied to this specific file so we have our auto enhance here. Let's grab our increase image resolution. It's also gonna say, hey, you're gonna write over your data. Are you sure? We actually don't want to because we've already copied that once. We already have a copy of this somewhere that it's working off of. So we don't actually want to do this twice. Um, and then the last one that we want to do here is our watermark. And we're gonna use this Pixelmator classic watermark here. And it's gonna say, hey, you're gonna override some data. We say don't add this time because we already have it in that copy. We also want to have our watermark assets all plugged in here and have that in the correct position. And now this one button is gonna be able to run all three of these options. You can add tons of these. There are actually tons of Pixelmator and Pixelmator Classic uh, things. You can change the type of image, you can uh, import any kind of file and have it uh, export a specific type of file if you'd like. Um, you can have it automatically crop stuff. You can, uh, there's just tons of features in here that you can you can set it up if you if you have the time and have the desire to try it all out. You can also scale stuff. Yeah, that you can go real deep in here and have it automate a good portion of your editing. You can even have it, I believe, apply preset uh, color balance stuff. So if you already have a look that you're established and maybe you're doing like photo shoots and like a white a white room, um, you can have it all preset and and just have it all run on one click of a button. But it's a bit out out of sight side of the scale of stuff that I do. So we're just gonna go ahead and save this and say uh, this is the big red button. Uh, and this is gonna be oh, two, because I already have a uh, first one that I created, um, but this is gonna be a great example here. So we're gonna go up back to the uh, first images that we grabbed here. So let's let's grab these two JPEG images. It takes a lot longer on the raw files because you know they're almost three times the size. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab these raw images for now. And we're gonna do a big red button two, the one that we just created. And we're gonna see that it's gonna think for a good while because it's running through the ML uh, uh, 
increase of resolution. It's running through the watermarking and it's also running through the auto enhance. And so this takes a little bit of time, but once it's done, they will be deposited down here in our folder that we specified that it should run the big red button stuff in. Three hours later. Okay, looks like it is finished. And uh, we can take a look at these uh, super resolution auto enhanced and uh, watermarked images. That was just one click. We got to that same point that we did after three clicks. So this just shows you how fast you can speed stuff up if you take the time to create some custom workflows. I encourage you to mess around with it and let me know in the comments below what your favorite combination of this is or which ones you've discovered. Thanks so much for watching. This has been Nick with Nick Picks. I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.